What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Scythe That's Integron back again for another Cube World World World. Let's play this game together. Journey to the North Big Old Sand Desert Temple. Yeah! Long ass title, long ass title. So, yesterday's episode, we found this the pyramid. We're still here in Ikadara Pyramid. I ended up exploring a little bit more over here. And then, no, oh, excuse me. And then I ended up finding a bed. I went to sleep so that it was daytime again. And then I logged out for the night. So I just came back here, fought my way through this dungeon all the way to the boss here. I've already tried fighting him once, but I died. So I figured I would show it on camera this time. And yeah, got a bunch of new equipment and stuff. I don't actually even know what's new since last time. But I named our mosquito Charlie. Isn't that a cool name? And he's actually been a lot better than Box. I'm surprised. Like, I went through this whole place with Box, and it was really difficult. Then I came through here with Charlie, and it was really, sh like, it was easier. Anyway, this place is still strong. I got us a couple levels and stuff. I'm not exactly sure what I want to spend our skill points on yet, but we'll see. Also, hopefully we'll be able to get a camel in this episode. So look at this. This chocolate cupcake that we've had for a billion years, you can actually use this to get an alpaca, but what I didn't intend on, because I've tried this on an alpaca, right? I tried it on a brown alpaca. I didn't know that a black alpaca was different food than a brown one. But this date cookie is what we need for a camel, so hopefully we'll run into one in today's episode. And then this pet food yellow jelly is for well, a yellow slime. But anyway, before all the enemies respawn and stuff, I want to try and get the aggro of these guys going back and forth. So that we can kill them first and fight the boss all solo and cool and stuff. I don't know why these skeletons have so much health. Like, straight up. I'm surprised that he's not actually hurting us worth anything right now, but... They just... I don't know why he doesn't want to die! And what more annoying too, why does a skeleton drink a potion? How can something undead drink a life potion? That doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah. Okay, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Let's let's eat up. Let's get our potions ready. Okay. Oh, I don't want to use that attack. I want to use the right click special attack. Get him, Charlie! Tear him apart! Oh, he's an archer. Oh, we're going to be able to beat him this time. Last time he was like a mage or something and he was all powerful. But he was melee attacking me. But now that he's an archer, we can just strafe back and forth and he's going to be a joke. Charlie keeps knocking him a little bit closer to us though. Oops, that was a... I meant to just cast our mana shield, not the other spell. Ah! Get out of here. It's a good thing we absorbed that because that could have hurt us quite a bit. Stop! Stop it, Charlie! He's moving him too close and we can't dodge him when- Ah! We can't dodge him when he gets closer like that. Get out of here! Stupid ancient guardian varian. Man, this guy is going down. I didn't even get to beat him yesterday. I, 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 I got a little bit frustrated yesterday too. Like, I, I'm not sure if it showed up in the recording. Because I haven't been able to watch the footage yet. Ah! Ah! Get down on the ground! We don't want him to do that special attack on us. Oh, he's drinking pots! Drink that! Come on, what you got? Oh, he's doing it again! Oh, no, you don't! Stop him, Charlie! We gotta get revenge! We gotta get him! This guy's going down. Special super ultimate attack! Oh man, he's almost done. Yeah! Let's see what we get. Ranger shoulder pads, some silver coins, copper coins, unholy spirit 46. Hopefully we'll be able to get, use that on our new staff here that we're using. Which actually, this staff looks badass, I gotta say. And we got a blue bow. If we were playing multiplayer, I'd give that to an archer, but we're not. <laughs> not yet. Oh, I gotta clear my nose one sec. Okay, there we go. I don't know what it is every time it's it's like because maybe it's because this is the first video I'm commentating on today. So it's like the start of the day for me. 
and it's like it's like I'm always like all congested and stuff and I just kind of it's like my body's kind of waking up and getting used to it even right now like my throat's a little bit sore but that could also just be because I got a lack of sleep but don't worry because we rolled out of bed yeah that's right that's right anyway I'm kind of going to show you guys here because I don't think we did that much exploring of this place, did we? So, I got all the enemies cleared out, and I'm just going to kind of show you guys our way out and all of the stuff that we had to deal with in here. There was a bunch of enemies in here, blah, 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 and then there that's a little alternate path, but this is our real exit. Oh, God, I hope we can climb out. Oh, that was close. That was actually really close. Seriously, I don't know what you would do besides the only thing that I could think that you could actually do. Ooh, I didn't know that Charlie could climb too. The only thing I think you could actually do, which I guess that's kind of a fail safe, but I don't really know if they counted on these pyramids and getting stuck in them. But it's like if you didn't have enough climbing skill, you would just get stuck. But the enemies respawn, so let's go to Sandar Tree today. The enemies just respawn, so oh yeah. Ha! Flying so high above the world. You teach me and I'll teach you. Teleport! Oops! I didn't expect to teleport that far. But yeah, if you get stuck in those pyramids, you can just wait for some enemies to respawn and then just let them kill you. Because they don't seem to have any... Now that would be... That would be... I wonder, can there, can there be resurrection stones... Oh, excuse me. Inside, like inside a dungeon that'd be interesting because then you would be screwed and that's the thing too like we haven't actually explored that many do we just level up again i thought we just leveled holy crap i gotta find out what to spend this stuff on okay now all this does is gives us more cooldown on our teleport and our teleport's a good spell, don't get me wrong, but I'm not really in the habit of using it as much as we should be. Hmm, let's see. I think we could stand to get our climbing up to eight, just because. Pets become stronger. Ah. All right, let's get that up to eight as well. Then we got one more point. Let's get into our absorb, just so that we can absorb a little bit more damage. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully that'll that'll make a little bit of a difference. Now that our pet's going to have, cause what is it? Um, oh, that didn't level him up as much as I thought it would. Okay, so his health is increased by twenty two point twenty two, and the next level is twenty three point sixty eight. So it's a little bit over one full percent. Wow, look at this place, man. This is gorgeous. I love this area. I really do. Ah! A midge? I think we have food for a midge. Oh, we're spinning out of control. I think we have food for a midge, but I'm not exactly sure. Screw it! I don't want no another bug. Fly away! Fly away home! Ah! Ah! Oh! What are you doing? Come here! Ah! Take that, midge! Yeah, we're starting to get into the point, though. With our... I don't know where Charlie is. We're starting to get to the point where we have infinite experience. Or not infinite experience, but it's like we're starting to run into, like... Oh, whoops. We're starting to run into points that I don't exactly know where to spend them. Is that a nomad? Straight in front of us, I mean, that dude right there. Yeah, it is. I don't want to fight him. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of surveying the area because I still want to get us a camel today. I'm hoping we can get one. Cuz yeah, I, as soon as I in, in yesterday's episode for those that don't know. For those that do not know. In yesterday's episode, I just found out the hard way by recruiting our mosquito Charlie actually that even though an enemy has a red health bar, it doesn't mean that you can't recruit it as a pet. And that, that really, that was a game changer for me. Because the camels, even though online, on the wiki, it actually says that a camel is a passive creature, but it isn't. It attacks you, like straight up. And so when I first found a camel and it attacked me, and it attacked us, I thought, oh, that sucks. That means we can't get a camel as a pet. And I really, 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 really wanted one. You know, that, 
since I read that there was deserts in this game, I knew I want a camel. Not to mention they look badass as hell. I think one of the reasons that, like, the graphics and everything about this game are just so cute and so appealing to me. Oddly enough, you know what this game reminds me of? Which I'm definitely gonna do a let's play of that game. I've mentioned that before in my gothic series. But it's like Space Station Silicon Valley for the N64. And if no one knows what that is, that's pretty much like... It was like developed by the guy that made Grand Theft Auto, and it was an awesome green game where it's like you were a microchip on a mechanical planet full of robots and stuff, and you would like go, you would like get yourself out of the, you you would you you would kind of like enter all of the creatures as kind of like a vehicle. So it's like we would go inside him, the terrier, and he would have like a bunch of different moves and stuff like that. And then you could leave him as a microchip for him and then jump in our pet. But yeah, that I think that's one of the reasons this game is so appealing to me. I also think that's why I like the camel so much because they had some awesome pets. But one second. And we're back. That took a little longer than it did for all of you fine people. Look at this guy. Golems are really strong. Golems? I love sailing. Where's golems? I want to fight a golem. Actually, I think I've seen what a golem is in a trailer. And I think <laughs> I think they're pretty powerful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy camera. I just wanted to look up there and see how big that cliffside is. Eh. Come on, Charlie. We got this. Blah. All right. Still going towards the tree. Eh. Whoa. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at this. Look at all these enemies, too. Holy cow. I gotta clear up some of these dudes. You know what? I think we can take them all on at once. I think we can take them all. I think we can take them all. Yeah! We're almost dead! Not, not really, but still, we're pretty weak. Wow. Okay, that was stronger than I thought it would be. Okay. Let's let's have some of our mushroom spit. I'm gonna have to get a screenshot of that tree. Is that tree besides it being gorgeous, is that tree seriously going to be a dungeon? Come here, you stupid bark beetle! Bring your friends over here too! I got enough chocolate cake for everybody! Your ass is grass, mister! And I'm the lawnmower! Rawr! Magic spell. Wow. Did you see that? One of those bugs gave us 25 experience. That's incredible. Wow, dude. I hear something else walking. Uh-oh. I'm just worried if there's mages in there. Uh, get away from me. My frame rate's already low enough. Get away. Teleport. Oh, there they are. I'm never... I always get so disoriented after teleporting. I just... It's like a backfire. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, here's a trick I noticed too. Here's a trick I learned. See how uh, Charlie's dead? Look at him attack. Bring up the inventory. You just re-put your pet in his pet slot and he respawns instantly. I'm sure that they're probably going to have to end up changing that if they ever catch it. But otherwise, yeah, that's that's a major thing. I'm gonna get a screenshot of this because this is gorgeous. All right, wow, man, there's some crazy ass dungeons in this area. I still hope that we run into a camel today, hopefully. But we'll see. We'll see how long it ends up taking to conquer this kind of place, because this place apparently is blue as well. I Oh, wait a minute. Is this going to be defeat the ruler at the sander tree? Now, here's something I'm curious about. Is this going to be a legit dungeon? Oh, get away from me, you damn dwarf. Is this going to be a legit dungeon that we go inside? Or is it going to change things up? And we got to climb to the top of it? No way. There's no way this game is that awesome, right? Come on. Tap. Tap. Ah, we'll use that. We'll use our last pumpkin mush muffin thing. Thingamabob thing. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to clear up all the enemies that are on the bottom floor here and go get this cacti. And we'll be back after a quick commercial break. And hopefully I would have oriented myself and maybe, maybe I'll see if there's an entrance around or something like that. 
So yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Welcome back, everybody. So I kind of been looking around this tree, and I can't seem to see an entrance of any kind. So I think we're going to try climbing it, and maybe that would be absolutely awesome and completely unexpected for me if they actually make this a vertical dungeon, because that means that the people designing this, like Wally and his wife or whatever, that means that they actually thought of other types of dungeons instead of just making copy and paste of the normal dungeon. Oh! It actually is a vertical dungeon! There's actually a giant boss right in the center of the tree right there. Which that is absolutely awesome. His name is Aziori or whatever. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh man. Now... Oh baby, this is... This is awesome. I wish I could get this as a title card, but oh, we'll see if we can. This is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be deadly. This is just, oh my goodness. This is the worst battle stage for this dude. Especially when he's hitting us, even though he's not really near us. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Knock him down, knock him down. Wow, this guy's got a lot of health though. And I mean a lot of health. Like, look at this. We're barely even touching him. This might be one of those bosses that I have to end up fighting off camera, actually. If he's going to keep hitting us like this. He actually hits us quite a bit, too. I'll, I'll keep it on camera for a little while, but... In a bit, I'm gonna probably have to try and take care of this dude on my own time. Because we haven't even touched his health. It's barely down. Like, jeez louise. Well, at least we're in a very advantageous arena. Like, really. And we can do this! Ha ha! See you later, sucker! Ho ho ho! Okay. Okay, this is gonna be awesome, but I'm gonna take care of this dude off camera. Okay. So he's really weak. And honestly, this boss took like forever. Like, straight up. And I only recently. Oh, that was loud. I only recently, unholy spirit, nice. I only recently knocked him out of the tree, otherwise it was actually pretty good. I ended up getting, man, we're leveling up a lot in today's episode. I ended up getting like up on top of a ledge so he couldn't actually hit us and it kept doing that thing where it's like, if the enemy can't hit you, the game says, oh, well then you can't hit him and we miss all the time. But I noticed a trick, a trick in the game's coding is if you're up on a cliff, all I would do is this right here. See how it's constantly missing? But as soon as Charlie ends up tagging them, it's like for a second the game kind of resets and goes, Oh, hey, so you can you can hit them because they're hitting you, right? Even though it's attacking our pet. So that, that was actually really useful, and I just kept kind of doing that. And every time Charlie would die, just boop, boop, bring him back to life. Bada bing, bada boom, and everything would be perfectly okay and fine and just yeah i forgot that my timer was on in the middle of that fight too that seriously like that literally took like 10 or 15 minutes to actually fight that guy you know because he had so much health now here's the real trick Ooh, there's a new biome over there but you know what i don't want to go there just yet i don't want to go there just yet at all i think we should probably start heading back to town which means i'm gonna pull box out and stay at Charlie. So long, Charlie. He is a great pet. Because before we end up traveling out of this desert area, first of all, we've only been here for like two or three episodes. Which, honestly, I don't think that's enough. Because I still love this desert. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. And plus, it's like I just, you know, I just wrote the theme for this place and everything. And it's like, come on. But, but it's like, I want to I wanna get a camel. Ooh, I didn't know that the sun actually showed up. That's awesome. But yeah, I want to get a camel before we get out of here for sure. But I think we'll tackle maybe one or two more dungeons. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to cook some stuff. So I'll be there. I'll be right back in a second. All right. So I started cooking stuff. And then I started looking at our equipment. And we can finally use this new amulet. It's a green as opposed to our blue one. But it's a lot better. Ours gives tempo 4.3. Crit 0.5. This new one gives tempo 6.2 and crit is just 0.9, but it still beats it in everything. So that's, that's fantastic. That's just great. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Where is it? Where is it? 
I kind of have these things like this is power 64, power 73, power 81. I kind of have them in order. Also, we got a lot of, like I did a bunch of inventory management because we're heading to town now. These are all ingredients that we can sell to town. This would be a grand bow and it's blue, but oh man. Okay, so check this out. 64 power and 69 power. And check this out. We got a good wood staff, which who cares? We don't use wood staves or staves as other people call it, but I just think that's ridiculous. But we got a green recipe, but the biggest thing, check this out. We got Mo Moika's, I don't know, Moika's Superb Silk Shoulder Armor. We actually got a rare or unique or whatever. We got purple. We got a purple crafting recipe. We still also, we got a couple leftovers and some blue leftovers. So those will probably end up being secretly really good. It's kind of becoming nighttime pretty quick because I spent a lot of time off camera in today's episode. Like there was a little bit where it's like I, I stopped recording for a second and I, I just had to stop recording because there was people in the house and stuff like that. And it was all noisy and everything. I don't know if you guys heard that. Hopefully you didn't. But it's like, I had to, I had to, I was gone for like 20, 30 minutes, so that certainly passed time, so it's already kind of getting to dusk now, which that's too bad, but yeah. I wonder if you can get, can you get everything as a pet? That's the real question. Like, could you get those stupid ghosts as a pet? I wonder. But what I really want to find, I'm pretty sure you can get a porcupine. What I still really, really want badly, and I mean badly. I love kiting them all into one big group and then just taking them all out. Look at that! And then our experience just flies. Like, this place is actually, it's, the game is just, now it's in the up and up. Now it is just getting easy mode because of how much stuff we can end up grinding and everything. Okay, I'm still kind of heading in the direction of town. I'm kind of leaving it on camera just because this is a newer area. You know, I'm trying to stay off the beaten trail that we already have explored. Plus, I'm looking for a camel. I want a camel. I'll be damned if we don't get one by today. Is this Frogman evil? Oh, he's a good guy. Why aren't health bars on? Oh, there we go. Oh, what's that? What are those things? Have you found leftovers, purple ones? You should visit the identifier. I don't know if he means purple ones specifically. I think he's just saying it with a purple. Okay. Now, this bird. These birds, as far as I know, Desert Rider or Desert Runner, let's see. I think they like these things. I think. I'm not sure if it's this one specifically, but I know that they like them. Do you like this one? No, he doesn't like that one. So I'm going to switch to the other one real quick. Doesn't seem to like that either. Stop. Give me a breather. Give me a breather. Mint chocolate, milk chocolate. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to just knock him away. No, it's not going to be yellow jelly. What about the caramel? What about this thing? I don't care if we die. I'm going to try them all out. Okay, I guess we don't have it. I guess we don't have what it takes to recruit this dude. Get away from me, man. Damn annoying buzzard. Like, holy crap. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that guy took us to one hit. Actually, you know what? Because we're at one hit, now, I don't particularly like dying, but honestly, I would rep. You know what? We can do this. We can take him on with one hit. What's that sound? Did you guys hear that? Was that the frog guy? It was some weird... Eh, eh, eh. It sounded like it was a dog in real life or something, but I don't know. That was weird. Okay. We're still at one hit, but we're doing this. Maybe I should just heal instead. I, I was going to say, like, I, I was going to let us die, but seems like there's not much point if we can just kill everything, right? Get away from me. All right, all right. We'll survive. We'll survive. Here we go. Let's just drink one of our god potions because, yeah, these things... Like, look at that. Look how much those heal us. Ha! Now, the other thing, too, that I started really getting in the habit of using at that boss, that one that was in the... Oh, camel, 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 
The one that the thing that I got in the habit of using is you pretty much use mana shield on aethers and we should be all good. Now I think these guys like date cookies, right? Is a date cookie what they like? Come here. Come here, sweetie. Oh, please. Oh, we're going to get a camel. Yes. The other one's going to turn on us because he doesn't get a snack, but we got a camel. We got a camel. We got a camel. Get out of the way. Oh, my God. And he's level 21, too. Do pets... When you recruit a new pet, are they your level? Oh, my God. I am just all smiles right now. This is exactly what I wanted. Name pet Jerry. Did we name him? Did it name him? Backflip off. Yeah, his name's Jerry. Ride him. Oh my god! Oh man, this is awesome! This is great! Oh, this is great. And there's a pyramid right here, too. An unexplored one. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? You know what? Oh man, this is just... This is awesome. This is perfect. I am so glad that we got this dude, man. Oh. Oh. I'm just happy. I am happy, I am happy. I wanted one of these giant, beautiful, majestic creatures. Oh. Yeah, it's getting too dark, so we're not going to explore that tomb. Wow, they... Ah. Get him, Jerry! We finally got something to replace Box. Look at this thing! Look at this! I'm gonna have to find a place to get a really good screenshot or something for the title card. Probably, maybe we'll do it in town, just so we got another title card that's in town and with Jerry here, because, oh, man. This is what I was waiting for, man. I was waiting to get Jerry. How good is his attack? That's not bad. He takes off, like, maybe... Uh, I don't know what his DPS is. Is there a way to check what the DPS is of your pet? No. Oh, we got skill points here. I mean, I've put two into riding so that we can ride a little bit faster. Ooh, I notice it. I notice it. I don't know if you guys will, but I mean, I've been riding for like a million years, so of course I'll notice it. All right, you know what? Ah, those scobos are in a really inconvenient spot. Otherwise, I would say to fight them. Ooh, is this a desert troll or an ogre or something? I want to see. I'm a little bit curious. I'm a little bit curious, but first, let's kill this orc, this World of Warcraft chap. Get him, Jerry! Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. Take that! Jerry and Scythe, you you ain't got nothing, you damn freaks. You ain't got nothing. I'm taking a screenshot before it gets too dark. This is beautiful. Wow, man. That's awesome. Let's see if we can take this ogre on. I don't know if we can because he's actually got a lot of health to him. And he's killing Jerry super quick. What? No, you don't. You're not doing that special attack of yours. Then while he's down, we pull Jerry back out. I think our Mosquito, Charlie, I think he might still be a better opponent. Like a better pet for fighting. Because I think he does more damage, right? Ah! Oh man, Jerry actually killed him! You rock, man! You rock! I don't know if he's that powerful, but I dig it. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Oh my goodness. I am just freaking out right now. I am just loving this. But you know what? Because now I'm starting to get distracted and we're kind of getting a little bit pressed for time for today. But I want to make it back to town. So I'm going to start journeying back to town. And if we run into anything interesting, then I'll start recording again. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing that stuff off camera. And yeah. Oh, man. I love Jerry. Caramel Jerry. All right. See you guys back in town. Hey, guys. Check this out. I just thought that that thing looked kind of cool. It's because the map's not really loaded, so we can see the sun under the world. But as soon as the map loads, it's going to disappear. Anyway, so far, all that's happened is I got a level up. I'm going to put two more into riding because that seems to be the most valuable thing right now, at least for traversing. Because I think we're going to be doing a lot of back and forth stuff right now because we're starting to get into the part of the series where I'm going to be doing a lot of that stuff. And I just wanted to take a quick gander at some of our gear here see if we ended up finding anything new handsome silk boots 46 these are blue 
but they don't seem to top ours in any way, shape, or form besides resistance and armor goes up by like 2% each. And I guess we get 0.9 tempo, but we lose HP and we lose crit by one. Okay, those are better. Those are better. They're better. What about these? 1.1, blah, blah, blah. And then some rogue shoulder pads. Did we get any new ingredients or anything? Well, we got some more leftovers that we can't craft. Okay. Okay. Can we do any of these things yet? Oh, we only got 52 power now, so... And I think we got, like, a new pet thing, but I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna have to do a lot of inventory management when we get back to town. But anyway, oop, looks like the world's loaded, so I'm gonna press onward. Check this out. I just thought this was kind of cool. There's a little bit of a canyon right down there, or a chasm. We could have just climbed up it, but I just thought it was cool. And I wanted to include you guys in this, because look at that. That is a sharp rock. Hup. Yeah! Flying so high! Above the world that I don't even know what's going on. Now, what happens as we level this? Your flying speed amounts to 200%. Oh. I see. So, flying is probably, like, the fastest thing that you could do for traversing. But then you gotta go up on top of mountains all the time, right? Yeah. Something like that. Speaking of the highest, sharpest mountain use I've ever seen. Man alive. All right. Look. <laughs> Which way is town? It's over there. Man, wouldn't that be awesome if you could glide your way all the way there? I think apparently there was something that they fixed in the patch I read. I think anyway, where you could actually lift yourself up and gain even more momentum with one of the classes. I think it might have been a ranger skill, but I'm not exactly sure. Ooh, this is like the Sand People Canyons, man. This is awesome. I love this game. Not that we're going to take him on, but look, Rorik, it's a unique nomad, and he's all glowing and stuff, so I guess that means that it would be pretty easy to fight, hunt for those guys at night, actually, because I can see him quite easily, but yeah, it's starting to get really dark, and we're, we're not even, we're not very close to town, so I mean, we'll see, I'll keep heading in that direction, but honestly, if it starts taking a little too long, because I just keep getting distracted by fighting all these enemies and stuff. But if it starts taking too long, we might have to just call it an episode before we get there. And I'll just have to show you guys tomorrow what what we've earned from our quest and stuff. The biggest things that I'm trying to look for is we'll probably try to enchant some of our gear. Like get, adap get it adapted and stuff. Oh great, another pyramid. Which is awesome, it really is. But it's too dark right now, so I gotta keep avoiding all this stuff. But yeah, I mean... The other thing too is besides adapting stuff, I wanna I wanna try and craft that purple gear that we ended up finding. Cause I think that'll be awesome. But yeah, it's getting too dark now to record any of this adventure. Alright, we're finally here. It took a long time to get here, but first thing we're doing is making a beeline straight for the end. Backflip off of Jerry! He is awesome. He is awesome. Now if you have headphones, I warn you. You should probably take them out for two seconds. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. This dude is very loud. Three, two, one. There we go, and now it's daytime, everybody. Oh my goodness. Hey, sheepy, sheepy. Isn't this awesome? This is incredible. I love this game. This game is awesome. And we're back in town. Flip off of him. All right, all right. Now, let's see. Do we need any more? No, we're full on the iron there. The iron situation's doing just great. Gold's doing better, and silver's doing better. Although, I don't think we use gold or silver with a mage. Primarily, I'm pretty sure we end up just using the... What do you call it? The... The... Blah, 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 the, the wood stuff. Uh, well... Get, get away from me, Jerry. I'm trying to look at weapon customization. I just want to see here. Yeah, we can only put wood on it. So, maybe this thing... Maybe this staff that we have is too powerful for some of the other stuff that we could craft. You know, like some of those are spirit stones and stuff that we got, or is it too weak? I'm not exactly sure how that works, but either way, let's double check. Okay, oh, that's a new thing, but it's just a ring. We don't need that. I was testing a couple things. I was trying to test if it was actually better to use two rings because this is the dual wield spell for a mage and it's it's a bit more annoying than the spell that we got right now it's a bit less aoe but 
I was thinking that technically th it would probably be the best to use these dual wield things if you could actually get like two blue ones or something or even two green ones because this is already decent damage like if we had if we had a second one of this ring it would top our staff no questions asked because this has already got tempo and stuff like that and it just doubles as you put on a second one right but i'm not exactly sure how to calculate that and i don't really care for using that type of spell anyway so it's all good it's all good i think we i think i might have sold some stuff that we didn't need to sell but whatever i don't care we're we're doing pretty good on equipment and everything right now we're doing great on equipment and everything actually like we're really kicking some behind here everybody we're kicking some crazy ass okay 67 inch this was our old armor it's beautiful but goodbye armor this is our incredible adapted staff that we put all our gems and stuff on and it's got really good crit but goodbye and same with these shoulder pads they're under these ones that we're wearing now so goodbye to that too i've been waiting to sell all this stuff and just clear up our inventory and everything i still want to identify yeah i think we'll get to identify oh look jerry can't even fit through the door huh big guy can't even fit I, I, I just want to identify our leftovers and then honestly then then we'll call it an episode because otherwise it's just gonna drag out way too long I'm sure we're probably going a little bit over time and I don't want to start wasting your guys' time you know we already got a crow so I'm gonna sell our licorice candy oh they don't let us sell pet food okay well that's cool enough all right all right let's see one copper we just got some shoulder pads shoulder armor again iron gloves we can identify that not that we are going to actually use it but let's see rogue ranger warrior rogue damn so it's all <laughs> all of our leftovers are for other classes that kind of sucks but oh well I'm, I'm gonna have to go through some of the stuff in these shops too, see if the item shop has anything good and worthwhile and just kind of restock on everything and all of that stuff but otherwise I think we're going to call it here for today. We actually got a lot more done than I thought we would. Today was a breeze, especially compared to yesterday's episode. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really do hope that you all have enjoyed another episode of Journey to the Northlands, even though we're kind of taking a break. And, you know, we're on vacation in this beautiful desert. <laughs> But yeah, if you enjoyed this video all the way to the very end, be sure to leave a like. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. Side back, side back, indecision with our flips. Ha, 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 ha. But yeah, and if you want to see more in this series, be sure to click that fancy subscribe button because there's going to be more out and more and more and more. Sayonara and stay epic, everybody. Your face.